Coming to you from PA Leadership Charter School Studio B in Westchester, Pennsylvania, it's the December 7th edition of The Portal! Today's special guest is Pouts elementary teacher who is fluent in Klingon, Mr. Stephen Cooper. And now, here's your host, Mr. Graham Osborne! Hello! Welcome to the portal! We are counting down the days to winter break. 375, carry the one, put... 17, 17 days left, 17, 17 days left until winter break. We have a great show for you today. Mr. Cooper is here. But first, some announcements. Book Buddies East is happening this Friday at the AIC in Westchester. This is for grades K through five and the theme is World Holiday Festival. You can learn about holidays celebrated in Australia, China, Jamaica, and Paraguay, Paraguay. Am I saying that right? Paraguay. Yes, Paraguay. Register now. The Children's Museum of Pittsburgh is a trip that we're going on December 14th for grades K through 2. Uh, it is to challenge your abilities and learn about the world we live in. See Moodle for info and tickets. And we're still doing the Million Pages Challenge, of course. We have over 260,000 pages read by students, staff, uh, teachers, and parents. Parents? Are parents involved? Yeah, parents are involved. Good. That means we're over a quarter of the way there. Do you have younger siblings? Read them a book. How about a children's book? Like, Where the Wild Things Are, or War and Peace. Last week, we asked for you to send in your questions, comments, suggestions through a little link that we have, that we have right down here. You can click on, and a form uh, is there for you to fill out. We got lots of questions, lots of suggestions, so let's take some time to look at them and answer them. Here we go. Our first question comes from Mrs. Susky, who writes, next week is the hour of code. Can we plug it? Well, let's see you plug it, Mrs. Susky. Here we go. Actually, Mr. Osborne, the hour of code is this week. I asked that question last week. And what is the hour of code? It is when you can go onto the course Moodle page and check out all the amazing activities that will teach you the basics of computer programming. Join over 200 million students throughout the world who will be coding um, during the week of Hour of Code. Some of the new activities this year is Star Wars, Create Your Own Galaxy, and you can even code in JavaScript, actually writing in text. Minecraft, Create Your Own World, and Disney Infinity, Create a story that you can save and share with your friends. And don't forget, at the end, print out your certificate of completion to show that you are a computer scientist. Check out the front page of Moodle for more information, and I'll see you in cyberspace. Ibrahim, a student in fifth grade, asks, why do you show the portal? Well, you know, we make the portal, so it would be kind of silly not to show it. Uh, we figured, what's the point otherwise? Uh, but seriously, the point of Making and showing the portal is so that students can get to know their teachers better, uh, can hear about some of the things that they do, and can also hear about the announcements in a more fun, interactive way. So we hope that you're enjoying that. Will, in seventh grade, says you should make a making of the portal episode and star the cameraman as the guest to show us how you put together each episode. And you know, we're actually thinking about doing a behind the scenes episode sort of in the style of Mr. Rogers or something like that. I'm gonna wear a cardigan. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Keep an eye out for that. Kane in seventh grade, says I would like to see either Mr. Yund or Mr. Edsel on the show. Well, interestingly enough, Mr. Edsel was on the show last season, uh, and we're working on getting all of our archives posted for those of you who haven't seen some of the older shows. Uh, so you can go back and check out that episode with Mr. Edsel. It's a lot of fun. Take a look at it. And our last question for today, Tanner in fourth grade writes, can you get Mr. Cooper on the show? Well, Tanner, we've got a surprise for you because Mr. Cooper's here. Please welcome Mr. Cooper. Oh my goodness. For you. That is uh, an Ewok. It is a Wookiee. A Wookiee. A I'm Wookie. sorry, I get those backwards. It happens. It's kind of similar. Chewbacca to Chewbacca. Exact. And, and it's a pen too. It is a pen. He's Stylish, a, presentable. Very nice, very it, nice. It might not work. It's not working at the moment, but, but it's still cool. Yes. It's still cool. In Thanks honor of 
the Force Awakening within ourselves on the 18th of yeah. December. Yeah, coming up. Gotta get uh, ready. Very soon, very soon. How long have you been at Palks now, Mr. Cooper? Uh, this is going to be my second year okay. here at Palks. So, so you're starting to settle in. Yeah, I'm, I'm a newbie still, but finally getting into my roots and good, good. figuring things out. And what do you teach? Uh, I teach fourth grade. So I kind of cover a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So math, reading, writing. Wow. So you, you teach all the subjects to um, the fourth graders. A jack of all trades. Wow. Wow. As I like to say. How do you do that online? What are you, any special tricks or anything that you do? Um, for me, my, my big trick is really just making lessons virtually in the virtual setting, like uh, interactive, cool, mm -hmm. something that they've never seen before. Um, one of my big things is taking stuff that they already know, like themes and uh, video games or cartoons or movies, and then making that part of our lesson while having fun at the same time. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. And what do you love about teaching your course? Uh, the big thing that I love is a different type of interaction. Um, the whole fact that we get to make like a cool tech experience into teaching. Um, I taught in brick and mortar for two and a half years mm -hmm. and it just was kind of dry and dull. Mm -hmm. But I can do things here with kids that I could never do before. That's so great. Taking That's great. it to that new level is really what I love. Taking advantage of the cyber part of cyber school. Yes, the yeah. cyber, yeah. the technology. Now I hear there's an exciting thing coming up, uh, Book Buddies this week. What's, what's that all about? Absolutely, uh, Book Buddies, we do them about monthly. It's a big event for students to come here in the flesh. Whoa. Um, we do big events. They get to get involved with their teachers. Mm -hmm. um, kindergarten through fifth grade, every teacher we all get involved. We do activities with the students. We read them a book. And then we kind of center it all around getting to know each other, having fun, and then getting things hands-on to do rather mm -hmm. than sitting behind a computer. Right, so the other side of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, definitely that students should check that out. That sounds great. We have three questions. Do you have any interesting hobbies? Hobbies. Uh, I like to consider myself MLG. MLG, I'm not familiar. Major League Gamer. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm really into gaming. Mm -hmm. um, I actually help Miss Susky. We run the Minecraft Club. Oh. So I'm really big into gaming. Uh, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, uh, you name it. I probably have it at my house. Okay. Super gamer. Love that stuff. Cool stuff. What's something that students would be surprised to learn about you? One thing that they might be surprised to learn about me is I actually love to read. Although I do spend a lot of my time with comic books and video games mm -hmm. and playing, I, I do like to pick up a book and dive in and get on like another level of an adventure. Yeah, yeah. Now I was going to ask for your next question who your favorite Disney princess is, but I'm going to give you the option to give us your favorite book too. Which one? I'll, I'll go with book since I seem to be on that topic. Okay. Um, I just recently read the book Armada. Um, amazing book. It's okay. about uh, an adventure of a boy who plays video games and mm -hmm. then he gets to become a real life video game essentially. Uh. It, it's a really um, good lesson that you learn about a boy becoming like a young adult and learning about responsibility but playing a real life game and destroying aliens. Wow. Everybody that likes seems to be a crossover with your interest aliens. there. Yeah. Yeah. You've got your book and you've got your video games and destroying aliens all together in one. Together as one. Very nice. Very I know nice. for us gamers out there, a gamer book is always what we're looking for. Yeah, that's really cool. Really cool. Well, that's a good recommendation for the Million Pages Challenge, perhaps. Absolutely. Uh, all right, so earlier you took our typing challenge. And uh, for those not familiar with the typing challenge, it's where we reassign and move around all the keys on a keyboard and have our teachers try to type out a phrase that we gave them. Let's see how you did. Oh, gosh. First experience looking at the keyboard. Oh, my dear. <laughs> Nothing is where it should be. Nope. Uh, I've practiced keyboarding since I was really young, and they, all the keys are in a new place. It, to, to me, looking at it right now, I'm going like my mom, pressing one key at the time, and like I'm a little robot. It seems to be picking up there, though, but five, four, three, oh. two, one, and that's time. So we totaled up your score based on the number of letters and spaces you got right, and you got a 34. Right. 34. Not too bad. Uh, which puts you right behind Mr. Edsel and Miss Owerzani, so that's pretty good company. That's I'll pretty take good. It. Pretty I'll good. Take it. 
Well, thanks a lot for coming on today. It was great to have you. Maybe thank we can you have much. you back another time. Absolutely. I'd and love to. Thank you for tuning in this week, and we hope to see you next time. Have a great week. Yeah.